Hey guys, welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new today. We are going inside the romance editing process. I am in the middle of editing my next novel and it's going really, really slow, but it's going really, really well. The novel is coming out really strong and I'm really super proud of it. What I am doing right now, the first thing I'm doing is I am going through the novel and I came across something, a word, a sentence, and a basically something that happened in the novel that I was kind of like, wait, did this happen? So I called my daughter in because she had read the novel and I wanted to make sure that this wasn't like a plot hole or that I had written something by mistake and she actually clarified that for me which is kind of funny because I've been reading the novel consistently for two months editing it and you would think that I would know exactly what's going on since I wrote it but um, I didn't remember if a certain thing I had mentioned before so I did a quick search didn't find anything on it and then I brought it to her attention and then she said oh this is how I read it and so everything was good but that is the process of editing and revising you know you come across things that you think you're you've got it all together but at the end of the day you even as the author you're like wait there's a mistake here there's there's something that doesn't quite fit right and that's why it's so important to go through the editing process and not just one draft or maybe even two this is my third draft and i think i'm even going to do another one i wanted to edit, have this novel completely finished editing by me by January. And then that didn't happen. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to have it definitely done by the end of February. And that didn't happen, but I'm pretty, pretty confident that I can have it done by March, by the end of March, the latest. And that is going to work out perfectly for me because I mentioned this on Instagram before, but I don't think I've mentioned it here before that I really want to try to query this novel. I want to go out on submission. I want to see if I can get this novel traditionally published. If I don't, like I always say, self-publishing is always an option for me. I will not not self-publish. So, but I do want to try and see if I can just go out and see if I can get a literary agent and see what happens with it because I'm really happy with the way it's going. So basically what I'm still doing right now is I am just reading the novel, going back and forth between the uh, laptop and the printed manuscript, some of the notes that my daughter had made. She's my critique partner. So I'm going back and forth and just making sure that everything is good. And part of the editing process is not just reading through it and making sure that the plot is all good and making sure that I haven't, you know, forgotten about something. It's also making sure that you are using the right words to describe something, that you cut out things that don't really uh, need to be said. Words like, you know, all the filler words that we talk about, just, really, things like that. So that is what I am doing right now with this particular draft. And I am rewriting a lot of things that I think I can rewrite better. So it's not just about the writing. So yeah, that is what I'm doing. I'm going to let you guys just enjoy the writing for a little bit. And then we're going to go on into after this, I'm going to take a break and we are going to go to Panera, have some lunch. We're also going to go to the bookstore and um, yeah. So let you guys enjoy it for just a little bit.
So this is day two. After we did all that, we went to, you know, Panera. We went to the bookstore. We went to the mall. Um, we had some delicious cookies. It was just, I got back home and I was tired and I didn't do anything else. I had a really bad headache. So this is day two. And what I've really been doing is if it's a really long chapter, I've just been editing one chapter at a time. If it's a short chapter, I'll do two, maybe even three, depending on how short the chapter is. But I've really, you guys, I've been taking my time. I don't think I've ever gone this slow in the editing process, but as a result, I feel very, very confident. And I think that's half the battle for us writers is just feeling super confident about the work that we are putting out into the world so that we can feel confident about if we're querying to the agents, letting them know we have a bomb diggity book that they need in their life, or if you are self-publishing that you can promote it with confidence. So I have no regrets about how slow this process is going, especially if you guys are watching, have watched any of the videos regarding this Christmas novel. And I have a playlist and I'll link it below for you guys to check out if you are interested in it. I at one point I thought I wasn't going to be able to publish this novel but here I am getting ready to query this novel so my next process is after I am done with my this revision which is my third I'm going to do it one more time just to tighten it up and then I think I'm going to send it to an editor not I think I know I'm going to send it to the editor and then when they get it back to me, I'm going to edit it one more time and then I'm going to start querying. So as you can see, it is a lot of editing and, you know, the writing process is probably not as long as the editing process is. As if you are a writer, you probably already know that. But anyway, so this is my vlog for the week and it was inside look at the editing process at least my process what i am going through if you guys want to watch more videos on this novel that i started writing in november of 2019 then make sure you watch this playlist <laughs>